Yo, what up, YouTube? Nari, this is Tinder Print. I'm back again with another video. In this video, I just want to show you how you can install plugins and also add them into FS Studio so that you can start utilizing them. Let's get into it. Show me. Show, show me, show me, show the first thing that you need to do is to make sure that you verify that your plugins are saved uh, in Windows if you're using a Windows and then make sure that you open program files and then as you scroll down you will see this uh, file that says VST plugin so make sure that all of your plugins are here and if some of the plugins are not here make sure that you copy them where they are and then you paste this DL DLL file under here and the other thing that you need to do is to make sure that you go back and then you get into program file 86 and then you scroll down until you find the vst plugin and then you do the same as you can see i also have some plugins in here and then from there when you are done you need to go back to fs studio and then you need to click here on options manage our uh, plugins from there the most important thing is to make sure that that file is added under here in this portion and then the way you can do that is to click this uh file that has a plus and then you navigate to find that file that i was talking about which is under windows under windows um let me go and find it for you and then windows program file and then vst uh let's go down vst plugin and then you press okay from there the other thing that you need to do is to make sure that you verify the plugin and then from there everything is fine also make sure that you pay attention to this this is a scan previously verified plugins no you don't want to do that you want to scan plugins with errors you don't want to do that but sometimes maybe you want to do that so that you can be able to remove them but for now we are only adding plugins into fs studio and then from there when you're done adding that file you just have to come here and press find more plugins uh, fs studio is going to search the whole computer including the file that you added to find that file and then from there you will see your plugins appearing here and then a new plugin you will see the orange color just like this one and then the way you can edit so that you can be able to use it is to press this um, star and then you highlight it from there you can just go back to fl studio make and then you will see that that plugin was added into fl studio and you can start utilizing it that was it i will see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe to this channel don't forget to like the video if you find it helpful